Americans, stand by. 77 And let's be heard. Good afternoon, everyone. The telephone lines are open. The number to call in New Jersey is 489 WABC from everywhere else. It's 877-WABC, area code 212-877-WABC. In a program dedicated to the free and open exchange of ideas and of opinions, in the belief that as American citizens, you have a right to hear and to be heard. Hello, Warren. You're on 77-WABC. This is Bob Grant. Hello. Hello, Bob. Yes, Warren. Warren from Bedstein. Good to hear from you, Warren. Yeah, Warren, if you want to stand by, I'd love to hear more, because... I find you very refreshing no matter what you're talking about, but uh, got to take a brief time out, okay? okay? All right. See, this is what I'm saying, Bob. There are so many aspects and so many things about the, the level and duration of scandal that's in this city. Mm -hmm. And if you took the first two hours of your show and, and delved into that kind of stuff, instead of giving these homos a target, you know, maybe that would be a little better. Well, I'm going to think very seriously, and, and more than that, even discuss it with uh, gentleman Jim Golden. Uh, and um, we'll see. Who knows? Warren, I appreciate it. Warren, you have no idea how much I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Uh, the um, Everywhere Else line, 212-877-WABC. Hello, Warren. How you doing, Bob? It's Ralph from Bed Stuy. Yeah, Warren, you sound just a trifle different today. Well, maybe it's just the way, um, it's, it's hot weather, that's what's doing it to me, Bob. There's a lot of humidity in the phone. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Bob, I want to know if you happen to catch, um, on Sunday this show called Jesse Jackson Talks to the Kids. You happen to see that, Bob? I spared myself. No, I didn't see that. <laughs> Bob, let me tell you something. I sat through this show, and nothing, I haven't seen anything on television that got me more perturbed than that show. Because there's a group of kids sitting there. It's kind of like the Donahue show. And Jesse Jackson's on the stage, and they're all looking at him like he's got the word of God. And every question they ask him, Bob, he managed to put down this country, put down the president, and put down his administration. No matter what they asked him, he managed to bring the president. Now, who gives him the credentials to get on a show like this and to have a word of authority like that. Who is he, Bob? Well, he's a gadfly, and uh, he's a creature of the media who, uh, if he announces he's going to burp on the corner of uh, 5th Avenue and 35th Street, you can bet your bottom dollar every channel would be there. What, um, what program was this? It's just, I think it's a weekly show, and they call it Jesse Jackson Talks to Kids. Like, the, like the kids need some authority, and of course, who's going to give it to him? Jesse Jackson. I mean, they call him a black leader, Bob. A black leader. Does any of do do they ever ask the black people who they want to represent them? Does, I mean, who is it, who is it other than the media that's calling him a black leader? Why do they put him up on the platform, Bob? Well, of course, you're talking about a subject that. Um uh, that you and I feel uh, identically uh, on. Um, but I'll tell you, he is good for uh, Noah Robinson. You know who Noah Robinson is? I know who Noah Robinson is. Yeah, he's his half-brother, who, thanks to Jesse, became a multimillionaire. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, you see, here's what happened. Uh, apparently, uh, Jackson went after uh, Westinghouse Electric Corporation, one of his many boycott... Uh, uh, victims, right? Yeah. And uh, that was when he joined the uh, so-called anti... 77 WABC, Bob Grant saying hello to Warren on the uh, New York line. Hello, Warren. Hello, Bob. Warren from bed -Stuy. Ah, hi. Uh, Bob, on Monday, I believe it was the 11th, a pitiful Gavon called into your program and identified himself as Warren from bed -Stuy. That was not me. A pitiful Gabon? <laughs> okay. I mean, he must be a pitiful Gabon if he uh, has to take on somebody else's name to uh, make an opinion on a radio talk show. 
Now, the only thing I'll say about it is, is that uh, I hope that one day he thinks enough of himself and uh, his own name and who he is that he'll be able to use his own name to make an opinion. And another funny thing about it was that uh, as he was speaking, as he was perpetrating this fraud, I was talking to a Mr. Anderson and was telling him that uh, this, this guy was not me. Well, Mr. Anderson never relayed that message to me. I thought not. No, he didn't say a word. Had Mr. Carnes been here, Harley would have told me. Uh, but Mr. Anderson probably thought you were a fake, you see. Uh, you got you, you to gotta understand something, Warren. Uh, because of the nature of this program, because of the nature of who I am and what I do and what my callers do, everybody's gotten paranoid and suspicious around here. Uh, ordinarily, they're not. I'm, I'm talking about my producer. I'm talking about uh, people who work around here. It's not their fault. It's not your fault. It's not even my fault. It's just the nature of things that people have gotten very suspicious. Well, not to lay any blame on anybody, but I just wanted to clear that up because that was not me. All right. Now, now you call the guy a pitiful Calhoun uh, because he claimed he was you, but what about what he said? Did what he say upset you? Uh, he made comments about Jesse Jackson and his being on some Sunday morning uh, uh, television show. Yes. And, uh, uh, you know, he made criticisms of Jesse Jackson. I've expressed my criticisms about Jesse Jackson many times on your program. Yes. And my criticism of Jesse Jackson would go a little deeper than his. Anytime a so-called leader who uh, calls himself a reverend and who uh, calls himself some sort of a man of God or religious at all and tells his followers that he thinks they ought to link themselves or join themselves in any kind of an allegiance with sodomites is somebody who could not lead me as his life depended on it. All right. Now that would be my criticism of Jesse Jackson. And anybody who follows Jesse Jackson or thinks anything of Jesse Jackson would look at, at just that one uh, aspect of his rap and question him very seriously about it. Mm. Okay? Okay. Now, as far as this guy is concerned, as I said before, I hope he uh, gets uh, a little more self-respect. <laughs> You're being very generous. Okay, now, can I make another comment? Absolutely. Warren, you're on Talk Radio 77. Hello. Good afternoon, Bob. Bob, you got a call, I believe it was on Thursday, in the 5 o'clock hour, from some phony claiming to be Warren from Bed Stuy. And he said that the previous time that I called that I was a phony. Now, Bob, I think that I've been calling your program long enough that you would know that he was not me. Well, you're not the original one. That I know. What do you mean, Bob? I've been calling you for years. No, you're not the original one. No, Bob. I... You, you're, the, you're the ersatz one. Now we got two ones, the original and the ersatz. All I know is that he called up referring to my call as a phony when he knows that his call was a phony. No, no, you're the phony. You're the phony. Now I can distinguish between the real one and you. Where do you live, by the way? I live in bed style. You do not. You know. All right. I, okay. I'll tell you what. Yeah. When you look out your window, and when you've looked out your window over the last couple of years, what has infuriated you to a great extent? Well, mostly the crack dealers on the street. Mostly the bums and the degenerates who have taken over my neighborhood. Yeah. Now, do you remember a call you made to me when I was on those ridiculous hours 9 to 12 at night. Sure, I call you all the time. Okay, do you remember one specific complaint about something outside your... That's right. So what, some... what was it? Somebody shot into my window, Bob. Now, what was it that you you uh, had virtually despaired of correcting? There were gunshots outside my window. Uh, now, you, you forgot about the abandoned cars you used to complain about. Oh, that's right. I... Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. By the way, how long have you been renting where you are? Oh, I'd say about eight years now. You just gave yourself away as a two-bit fraud because the real Warren owns his property. Get out of here. <laughs>